In today's data-driven world, finding the right information quickly is crucial. It's really important. So what if our artificial intelligent assistants could not just search, but also understand and reason? Hi, I'm Stuart. Welcome to the world of Advanced Augmented Generation, or RAG if you prefer. Here, we're going to have Llama Index and Amazon Bedrock join forces to create an intelligent system which can break down complex questions. It can reason over multiple documents and also provide comprehensive answers too. So let's start with this one. To start with, we're going to look at sub-question query. So imagine you ask, compare the revenue growth of Uber and Lyft from 2020 to 2021. Seems really straightforward, right? But there's a lot to unpack here. With Llama Index's sub-question query engine, we can break this down into manageable pieces, which is really cool. We can break it down into things like what was Uber's revenue for 2020 and what was Uber's revenue for 2021. We can also add what was Lyft's revenue for 2020 and also what is Lyft's revenue for 2021. By answering these simple questions, we can then combine the results. We can get more of an accurate and comprehensive answer. Let's look at some code to how we do this. So first, we import the necessary classes from Llama Index. We can assume that Uber underscore index and Lyft underscore index have been created earlier. So let's just move down from that part a second. We can then convert them into query engines. And we do this by creating a list of query engine tool objects. Now, each tool wraps a query engine and provides metadata about what, it, what information it can access. After this, we create a sub-question query engine using the from underscore defaults method. What this does is it passes in our list of tools. And then finally, we query the engine with our complex question. The engine here will automatically break this down into sub-questions query the appropriate tools and synthesize a response. But what if your question requires more reasoning? So enter agentic rag. With the React agent, our artificial intelligence doesn't just answer questions, it thinks about how to answer them, which is really cool. So we can ask it about Lyft's revenue growth, for example. The agent might decide, okay, first I need to find Lyft's financial reports, then I'll extract the revenue figures for the relevant years. Finally, I'll calculate the growth rate. The agent can use different tools to query various data sources and even break down complex tasks, all to give you the most accurate answer. I'll show you how this works and, and how we can set it up. So let's look at this code for example. First, we import the necessary classes, including the React agent. Again, we assume that the lift underscore index has been created earlier and we're going to convert this to a query engine. We also do need to assume the financial calculator class exists as well, but all of this is in the example code. We define a list of tools. So first is the query engine tool for accessing Lyft's financial data. The second is a custom tool that uses our financial calculator. We create a React agent using the from underscore tools method, passing in our list of tools. And then a large language model, assumed to be defined earlier as the LLM. We can interact with this agent then using the chat method. Here we are passing in our question, you know, like we would do with asking any generative AI a question. The agent will use its reasoning capabilities to decide which tools to use and what order to answer the questions. So now let's bring all of this together with Amazon Bedrock and Llama Index. First, we parse our documents with Llama Parse. Take a look at this code to how we do this. Here, we'll import Llama Parse and Simple Directory Reader. We'll create a Llama Parse object, which will be used to parse all of our PDF files here. We have to specify our API key here in the output format. I've left this out just for this section. We can also specify the number of parallel workers and also the verbose output. We next created dictionary. We're going to call this dictionary file underscore extractor. This will map our PDF file extension to the parser. 
We then create a simple directory reader object, specifying the input directory and also our file extractor. We use the reader to load the data, which will pass all of the PDFs in the specified directory. The next thing we do is we have to import the bedrock specific classes from Llama index itself. So here what we do is we create a bedrock object for our language model, specifying Claude V2 as the model. Then we'll create a bedrock embedding object for our embedding model. We can specify the Titan embedding model for this as well. The next part of is we need to import the necessary classes, including the sub question query engine and Amazon knowledge base retriever. We create the Amazon knowledge base retriever object and here we specify our knowledge base ID. We specify our AWS region and maximum tokens to sample. We create a sub question query engine using the from underscore defaults method passing our bedrock retriever and language model here. And for the final step, we query the engine asynchronously using an acquired method passing our question about the digital household trends. This entire setup combines Llama Index's events querying capabilities with Amazon Bedrock's powerful models and also knowledge bases. We are creating a very sophisticated RAD pipeline capable of handling complex queries on large data sets. By combining Llama Index's advanced querying techniques with Amazon Bedrock's powerful models and knowledge bases, here we've created a system that doesn't just find information, it also, also understands and reasons over it. You can find example notebooks to try out these steps on your own and all of the examples are in the description below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more hands-on technical content, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the AWS Developers YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.